Hello, it's Miss Lisa from Growing Brilliant. I'm so glad to see you joined us for story time today. So this week we've been talking a lot about bugs. Do you remember how to say bug in ASL? You put your thumb on your nose and you wiggle your fingers like this. Bug. That's right. Today the bug that we're going to talk about and read a story about is a small little bug that comes in red and sometimes orange and it has little black spots on its wings. What bug do you think I'm talking about? Can you guess? I'm talking about a ladybug. Very good. So today's story that I have is called 10 Little Ladybugs. 10 Little Ladybugs is the title of the story. The story was written by Melanie Girth and illustrated by Laura Huliska Beef. Now, 10 Little Ladybugs tells me something about the story. Well, let's see. Does it tell us, you think, how many ladybugs there are? Because 10 is a number, isn't it? Right, and numbers tell us how many of something. Should we count how many ladybugs and see if there are 10? Okay, let's count together. Will you count as I point? Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ladybugs. We were right. Let's open up the book and see what it says about those ladybugs. What do you see here? That is the number ten, like the ten ladybugs. What else do you see? A beautiful butterfly. Let's see what it has to say. It says, 10 little ladybugs sitting on a vine. Along came a butterfly. And then there were nine. Now I noticed something. Let's go back to this page. It says, 10 little ladybugs sitting on a vine. Along came a butterfly and then there were nine. Do you hear what I hear? What do you know about the words vine and nine? Vine, nine. Do these words rhyme? They sure do. I wonder if we can hear any other rhyming words in this story. Should we take a look? All right, so this page says, nine little ladybugs skipping on a gate. Along came a caterpillar. Then there were eight. Did you hear another rhyming pair there? Let's go back and see. Nine little ladybugs skipping on a gate. Along came a caterpillar and then there were eight. Gate, eight. Do those words rhyme? They sure do. Should we keep going? Okay. Eight little ladybugs looking up at heaven. Along came a bird and then there were Seven. Should we count and see if there are seven? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven. And it says, seven little ladybugs resting on sticks. Along came a grasshopper, then there were can you guess based on a rhyme that you hear on this page? Seven little ladybugs resting on sticks. Along came a grasshopper. Then there were, let's guess, sticks. Six! Did you guess it? You are so good at rhyming. Six. This one says, 
Six little ladybugs flying near a hive. Along came a bumblebee, and then there were five. That's right. Look at this fish. Is he looking at those ladybugs? What do you think he wants to do? I wonder. Should we count and see if there are five? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. Five little ladybugs sleeping by the shore. Along came a fish. And then there were four. Four little ladybugs climbing up a tree. Along came a turtle. And then there were Three. Look at this. What do you see there? It's a duck. What does the duck say? Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Three little ladybugs drinking up dew. Along came a duck. And then there were... Two. Nice job. One, two. Two little ladybugs basking in the sun. Basking, that's a fancy word. Do you know what that means? So when an animal or a bug is laying in the sun, just relaxing, just hanging out because it loves to feel the warm sun on its body, we call that basking. Two little ladybugs basking in the sun Along came a frog, and then there was one. Very good. One little ladybug sitting all alone. Along came a breeze. Then she was home. Look at that. Do you think the breeze blew her away to where all the other ladybugs had gone? It looks like there may be 10 ladybugs once again. Look at all the animals that we saw. The duck and the frog, the turtle, the bee, the butterfly. That's so fun. The end. Would you do, like to do a ladybug art project with me? I think that would be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for counting along with me and learning about rhyming words and ladybugs and just having fun. We're going to do some art together now. So give me just a moment. We'll head over to the art table and we'll keep having fun together. Okay. Are you ready to do some art together? All right. So today we read 10 little ladybugs and we practiced counting 10 ladybugs. We even did some backwards counting from 10 to 1. And I thought it would be fun to do some art together that's actually a math activity as well. Does that sound like fun to you? Good. Okay, so the first thing that we need is a picture of a ladybug. You can print a ladybug template or you can draw your own ladybug. And we're going to practice dotting with a dauber. That's a special kind of paint that has a sponge at the end that we use to make dots on the paper. And what's really cool about this activity is we are going to be working on our whole arm movement and our hand-eye coordination as we try to put the dots directly inside the dots on the ladybug. Should we do that together? All right, let's practice. Okay, I'm going to count when we do that. Does that sound like fun? Okay, so I'm going to dot the first one. That's one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, once you have the dots inside the circles, then you can go ahead and decorate your ladybug however you want to. You can color it with markers or you can paint it. You can keep decorating it with more daubers. Whatever you have available is totally fine. But before you do that, I wanna go over this again and talk about some other math. Have you heard the word addition? 
Addition is when you add things together to make a total number. So like this, let's talk about the number of dots on this side of my ladybug. Should we count them? All right, let's count together as I point. Are you ready? Okay, go. One, two, three, four. There are four dots on this side of my ladybug. How many dots do you think are on this side? Let's find out. Let's count together. Let's go one, two, three, four. There are also four dots on this side of my ladybug. I wonder how many there are all together. In math, with addition, that would sound like four plus four equals what? We can count them to find out how many total spots there are on this ladybug. Should we do that together? Okay, count while I point. Ready? Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight dots on the ladybug. You're really good at math. <laughs> All right, so have fun decorating your ladybug, coloring it, painting it, drawing your own ladybug, whatever you decide to do. I would love to see what you come up with and we'll talk to you next time. All right, bye.